Welcome everyone to the new school year at Ocean Lakes High School. Thank you in advance for your undivided attention. Success starts with a positive attitude. Attitude determines everything you do. Set goals, short term, mid range, and long term. Examples would be honor roll, straight A's, perfect attendance, a four or five on an AP examination. Be consistent. Come to school each day, on time, and be prepared to learn and work. Completing work on time and participating in class equates to academic success. Be a class leader and start the revolution. The student dress code policy must be followed the entire time that you are in the building. This includes before and after school and in lunch. You may wear sleeveless shirts like the top examples with the green arrows. Sleeveless does not mean camisole, spaghetti straps, or tank tops. Tank tops are not permitted in school. Shoulder cutouts are allowed, but the shirt must not have spaghetti straps or be a tank top. The example with the green arrow is appropriate. Shirts cannot be mesh, lace, or see-through. All of the examples with a red X are not appropriate for school. Off-the-shoulder shirts are not allowed. Shirts are not allowed to be open in the back. Rompers must meet all sleeve and shirt length requirements. Rompers can be sleeveless, but not off-the-shoulder or tank tops. On the slides, you can see examples of off-the-shoulder shirts and open back shirts that are not allowed. The example of the romper with the green arrow meets all dress code requirements. Sagging pants are not permitted. Shorts need to have at least a 5 inch inseam and skirts and dresses should be at least fingertip length. Midriffs may not be showing in the front, side, or back. Be sure that the shirts you wear do not ride up when you are walking down the hallway. Holes in pants, shorts, and shirts cannot be above the 5 inch inseam. Make sure that your footwear is safe by having a hard or rubber sole. Slippers cannot be worn to school. Leggings can be worn but body parts must be covered. Underwear cannot be showing. Pajamas, pajama bottoms such as flannel pants may not be worn to school. Blankets may not be worn or visible inside school. If you use a blanket while coming to school, please make sure that it is put away in your book bag prior to entering the building. Headwear is not allowed in the building. This includes hats, visors, bandanas, and sweatbands. Graphics on clothing must have appropriate words, symbols, advertisements, and messages. Students violating the dress code policy will be sent to the office for disciplinary action. If you are not sure if something is appropriate for school, please do not wear it. Ask a teacher or administrator before wearing it to school. All students must report to the attendance office for a tardy pass when late to any block, including to and from lunch. The total tardy count resets each nine weeks and it is not three warnings per class but the sum of all classes. Be aware arriving late due to a private vehicle dropping off because stuck in traffic or stopping for breakfast would be considered an unexcused tardy. Notice that the discipline infractions progress for each tardy after receiving your third tardy. You may lose your parking privileges or excuse block due to excessive tardies. If you arrive late to school, you must report to the attendance office to properly check in. Even if you arrive between class changes, you should provide a parent or guardian or physician's note at that time. Early dismissal for 11th and 12th graders. You should bring a note to the lobby security desk before 7.20 a.m. Include the telephone number to reach your guardian to verify this request. No early releases are taken over the phone and you are to check out at the front security desk if approved. Early dismissal for 9th or 10th graders. 
Guardians must come into the building for early dismissal in the attendance office. Please remember to sign out at the attendance office. It is very important that students who leave the classroom have a pass from the teacher and that students go directly to and from the destination that is on the pass. There should be no wandering. This is a safety issue as we are responsible for knowing where students are at all times. While you wait, you must remain in your seat and you cannot move chairs to an adjacent table or to the end. Moving chairs into the aisles is against fire code. We have to maintain a clear path throughout the cafeteria. Please attend to your restroom needs while in lunch and you will need to ask the AP or a security assistant for permission to leave the cafeteria. When it is time to dismiss, the administrator will dismiss by section and please make sure all trash is placed in the trash can and your chairs are pushed in under the table. The cafeteria is clean when you enter so please let's leave it clean when you leave. You are not allowed to carry any slushies out of the cafeteria. All food must be eaten prior to leaving. If you wish to go to the library, you must go directly to the library and remain for the duration. No food purchased in the cafeteria can be taken out of the cafeteria without previous written permission. Remember to keep track of your absences in each class. If you have seven or more absences in a particular class, either excused or unexcused in a, in a semester, it will result in a 63E for the semester. You will need to apply for an attendance waiver at the end of the semester. You have, pro you have to provide official documentation of your excessive absences to have the failing grade overturned like a physician note. This means a note from mom is not acceptable for over seven absences. Also, if you miss five or more consecutive days due to an illness, you must bring in a note from a doctor in order to ensure the absences are excused. You may lose your excused block if you have excessive absences. To ensure you have a successful school year, monitor your grades, ask for help before you get behind on coursework, and use tutoring resources that are available. We are all here to support you. This includes your teachers, guidance counselors, and assistant principals. It is our hope that your advisory teacher will be an additional point of contact should you have a question or need assistance. Please check out the Ocean Lakes Student Binder. This binder is your resource for important information that all students need in order to be successful during the school year. It contains information about teacher tutoring ske schedules and homework help, important dates, clubs and activities, PE schedules, and much more. For example, if you need help with homework, use the homework hotline. This is a great resource that students rarely think to take advantage of for homework help. Remember that the information and the pictures you post to social media sites can get you in trouble in school and with law enforcement. So be careful what you post. Communication of a threat via, via electronic device is a felony. Cyberbullying is a serious offense and can result in discipline up to and including expulsion. Please keep your electronic devices off and out of sight in the classroom unless otherwise directed by a teacher. Phones and electronic devices are allowed in the hallway during class changes only. For safety reasons, you may only have one earbud in your ear during class changes. The other earbud cannot be near your ear. You are not permitted to make phone calls from your phone during the school day. You may have both earbuds in during lunch. Any student 
who fails to comply with the terms of the acceptable use policy may lose system privileges and be disciplined in accordance with the student code of conduct. Every student at Ocean Lakes High School has the right to learn in an environment free from disruption, disrespect, and defiance of authority. And every teacher has the right to teach in the same environment. Know that if a student decides to infringe on your right to learn, we take that very seriously. The student will face serious consequences and the disruption will be stopped. Fighting, posturing to fight, altercations, physical abuse, and harassment will not be tolerated. For many of these offenses, the disciplinary action begins at suspension and can result in a recommendation for expulsion. Keep in mind that the filming and or sharing of an incident are considered a disciplinary infraction. Get involved. Ocean Lakes High School has so many sports and clubs and activities to choose from. If you can't find something, you can also start a club. Respect the building. Respect each other and be proud of your school. Decisions equal divisions and the choices you make impact what you do on and off campus. Always remain in good standing. Courtesy counts. During our all school assemblies, the Dolphin way is to be kind, respectful, and school spirited. Please make sure all phones are off and out of sight and remain quiet at the appropriate time. We want you to show your spirit, so be loud and have a great time. Characteristics of a dolphin. A dolphin respects oneself and others. A dolphin respects the opinions and the ideas of others. A dolphin contributes to his or her school in academics and extracurricular activities. A dolphin accepts responsibility and consequences for his or her actions. A dolphin recognizes that everyone is a role model. A dolphin promotes a family atmosphere. And finally, a dolphin reaches out to help others. Be sensible and make good choices. Every day is a great day to be a dolphin. The mission of Ocean Lakes High School. The mission of Ocean Lakes High School in partnership with family and community is to provide a safe challenging and innovative learning environment in which all individuals are encouraged and empowered to achieve their potential as contributing citizens of society. Have a great year, Dolphins!